Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're the first time on this channel, my content consists of mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. I do post at least four times a week, sometimes five. Uh, I also throw in some lifestyle content, uh, you know, uh, fashion content. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please do consider uh, being part of this family by clicking the subscribe button. I would also want to acknowledge my uh, uh, returning subscribers. I want to say thank you so much for always supporting this channel. Uh, please also remember to follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C chronicles on instagram there is no talking sense however i want to build a fragrance community on instagram so please do give me a follow on instagram leave a comment that you've come from this channel and i'll give you a follow back now to the business of the day i think you've seen on the thumbnail we're talking about fragrance oils or perfume oils okay um these are not essential oils but this video is going to encompass oils in general so if you've got essential oils some of the tips i'm going to give you today are going to work for essential oils as well okay so i've got a lot of fragrance oils you can get them in canisters like these um but what most people are familiar with is these type of containers uh these roller balls uh these as well and you can also um sorry for the noise you can get them in containers like this okay where it's got that and you can like it doesn't really you know drip immediately but you know obviously it gives like a drop at a time so i'm here to give you 30 uses for perfume oils and uh, now i know a question that i always get because i've posted four if not three or four videos about perfume perfume oils before is where do you get them where do you get them I have in those videos explained where I get them in most cases I've even put um, you know uh, um, not clickable links but I've put the names of the suppliers but I get a lot I get a lot of people asking where like uh, you know how I can link them directly to, to cheaper suppliers unfortunately i don't have that information because i'm not into reselling oils but uh, all i can tell you is the cheapest oils you'll find or the most affordable will be directly from dubai okay like i got these ones directly uh, from dubai and these ones were purchased like personal in person so i, I can't link a website per se uh, but at the same time i do get a couple of fragrance oils from different websites like uh, this one was from the perfume people there's perfume pala uh, there's apple which is um arabic perfume oil companies oil company those fragrance companies uh fragrance oil companies ship internationally but the problem could be the pricing however all i can say is most of the perfume oil companies if you go into if you email them first uh and then tell them that um you want your oils in, in like in bigger quantities i'm pretty sure they can make an arrangement uh, or uh, do a discounted price for instance you can get this even in a liter this is angel shea okay this is my uh oil version of angel shea but i've seen on the website they sell even a liter uh they sell up to five liters so i'm pretty sure if you cannot you know if you if you just throw in an email there especially uh arabic perfume oil companies and the perfume uh arabic perfume oil company and the perfume people okay uh there's also kj KJD if I'm not mistaken if you throw in a, an email there they should be able you know to assist you and give you a discounted price now anyway number one uses for perfume oils is obviously going to be to apply them on your skin okay I'm just giving you 30 tips so that was the first one to apply them on your skin that is to boost uh your 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 your, your scent or, uh, or you know like just to smell good okay uh, so that's number one. It's a no-brainer. Number two, you can put a few drops on your pillow. This is why I gave you an example of this one. This one has got like a dropper, okay? So you can just take that and flip it outside, uh, upside down like that. Uh, you will see it, it should be able to drop, uh, you know, just a droplet. And it doesn't come, there you have it, there. That, that that's what you would do so you can put a few drops on your pillow on your pillowcases just to scent those three you can add it to your unscented lotion so i personally don't have an unscented lotion at the moment but what you would do in that regard is say this was an unscented lotion okay all you simply do is just open it up put in a couple of drops stir it up and just change it to you know the scent the scent that you're interested in if you're crazy about baccarat rouge when it comes to oils they're more potent you know they actually strong because most of them don't contain alcohol so if i wanted this to have traces of baccarat rouge 540 i would take that oil and put a couple of droplets there stir it and then i've got my scented lotion which if i'm wearing my baccarat rouge i can always you know wear my lotion uh, uh to just amp up the scent around me you can put a, a couple of drops again in bathing water um you know just especially if it's hot water okay it just gives this um beautiful beautiful scented um space around you as well as some of it will stick especially if you if you're into layering combos where you put some oil in your bathing water immediately after that you go you spray your 
bath or body mist and then you add some oil or something like that people always ask me how do we get our fragrances to be beast mode and i've always told you two things either you over spray or you layer with an oil it's that simple you know all these other stories and stuff yeah they can help you yeah because i've done a video on on that where i've spoken about using uh, uh, uh body mist using lotions as well but sometimes i find that the oils just amp it up okay now next thing is you can add some on your burning candle so if i was burning my candle right now which i forgot to do and i should have where well, if i was burning because you don't want to put it before you you burn it okay now if you burn it obviously there's going to be that wax that's melted you just put a couple of drops there and you have yourself you know uh, uh, uh the scent that you you just want to you know you just want to smell in that moment uh number five is you can if you've got artificial flowers at home again use that method uh, when it comes to artificial flowers i actually forgot to get my um my little plastic sprayer if you've got containers like this okay this is a perfume oil it's a vanilla one it was this was choco mask i couldn't do the actual fragrance on my body so i just uh put it in there and then i spray it on my artificial flowers it depends on what you want where you want to spray you can even spray on your uh you know uh, on your entrance carpet it's entirely up to you the, the 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 options are endless okay you can also add a few drops in your trainers especially trainers don't do this with heels you know the ones with the slippery inner and stuff like that i don't think that would be wise but if you have like your trainers uh sneakers in other words uh you can just put a couple of droplets there and you have people asking you why you smell so good all the time that is because these tricks actually work uh the next uh point would be to uh put a couple of drops on your wooden jewelry okay if you've got wooden jewelry at home um i'm going to show you an example if i can find a piece if you've got wooden jewelry you can just put a drop there before you wear it let the uh, oil sit into that uh wooden uh, part of the jewelry wear it on your neck you've got wafts of beautiful you know fragrance all day okay next thing is you can also scent your bulbs before you put them up there or if you've got the energy when they're up there as long as they're off get a couple of drops okay Okay, or put them on a cotton, put the drops on a cotton swab and then just scent your bulbs. What the bulbs do is when they get heated, they then have, you know, they then spread this uh, beautiful scent around the house. And you have a lot of people asking, how do you get your home to smell so good? I have a lot of people asking me these questions. How do you get your home to smell so good? It's little tricks like that. If you scent crazy like myself, that's exactly what you would, you know, you might want to try. Or you've bought an oil, you don't like it and you just don't know what to do with it. You could do that. You could act, you could also make perfume uh actual pay perfume if you buy perfume alcohol okay uh, it's not the ordinary like the normal vodka people who are into perfumes would know it. there's a perfume alcohol i think you can get it from 75 percent some of it is 90 percent alcohol mix it with that if you do some reading you will get the portions of what portions you'd mix to what put it in a, a you know in a, in a, in a, in a like a decant container let it sit for about 30 45 days and then you know macerates that you know makes it, it makes the whole mixture mix properly and then it becomes your fragrance however it won't have the uh posh bottle uh that is that people are used to but you will smell good anyway uh the next thing is you could use uh your oil you can add that oil on your massage in your massage oil so if this was massage oil here this is just jojoba or shoshoba. i don't know what this is called jojoba or shoshoba. okay you could just drop some um scented oil in there just to make sure that um when you wear it on your body it's got that aroma or scent that you are interested in another tip here is uh to drop your scented um your your, your scented oil or your perfume oil on your ribbons if you're the kind of person that puzzles people a lot or sends a lot of gifts or something uh, if you've got duck duck ribbons or something like that you could just drop some uh, oil there and then tie obviously your, for packaging purposes and the minute somebody receives it they will just have this beautiful smelling package okay so i know some of these things sound a bit out there but i i i personally you know do some of these things okay um the next thing is you if you've got a wooden headboard because wood okay wood like or uh, i don't know orc 
usually just does it, it sucks into oil it loves oil you know you treat your wood with oil but obviously this is a uh, fragrance oil so it's not going to be a lot of it but if you can put a couple of drops you know strategically on your headboard you've got your permanently scented uh headboard and that kind of scent uh would last for days okay next thing is obviously directly on your clothes that we said as a point on your collar i also find that you know i, I if i'm wearing a dark uh, uh outfit or something i can put my fragrance oil generously on my collar and i have wafts you know of um fragrance around me and i have people asking me what's going on so if you've got a jacket you could do that or you just have like a shirt with a collar but try and make sure that it's dark okay now to those who do soap who make soap i'm sure it's not news you can use it in soap making you can also put some drops on your bed sheets just to scent them there's a difference between oil and uh you know the fragrance sprayers or the air fresheners is the air fresheners have got alcohol so they'll give a burst of this beautiful aroma in the home or wherever they've been you know sprayed but they don't last that long whereas with oils if you drop some oil on your carpet you guarantee that that carpet is going to smell so good for a long time and you're going to have people genuinely telling you that your home smells good so that's a difference now if you if you've got bed sheets and you're the kind of person that changes your bed sheets all the time maybe you know twice a week or once a week i don't know um you can scent your bed sheets as well uh you can scent your blankets as well uh, you can take uh, cotton, uh, you know, cotton, uh, cotton balls, put some there and then just strategically po uh, position your cotton balls around, around the house just to make sure that certain areas have this wasp of just a beautiful wasp around. Um, my number 20 here is uh, you can... Um, drop some on your handkerchief and then fold it up uh, nicely and then put it in your bag because obviously you don't want uh, to put uh, you know like to drop the oil directly on your bag otherwise eventually the bag is going to be or oh, it's going to be stained eventually uh, so you may want to just take a handkerchief and then put a couple of drops and then put you know in your handbag and you've got your permanently scented uh, handbag and the things around it uh, are going to be uh, you know scented as well if you've got duck carpets at home you know the navy blues the black carpets that that sort of thing you can also put some drops there in your lounge or whatever and then again if you've got sachets you know little sachets those um uh, uh I, I'll, I'll put in a video i'll show you the ones that i have if you've got those sachets and they've the the, the, the scent or the the the, the scent that you, the, you know they were air fresheners but the scent is gone you can also you know make sure that you put a couple of drops of oil there just to revive uh you know those sachets and you can put them in drawers and strategic places just to make sure that your place smells awesome and and every time you put these things in your drawers and whatever remember even your clothes are going to have this permanent uh beautiful smell okay uh, uh, uh because yeah you can put fa fabric so softener but fa fabric softener tends to wear off quickly okay so after washing your clothes and everything once you put all these little droplets in the drawer droplets in you know uh, in, in your in your closet and stuff like that it will uh, be permanently uh, scented and it smells good okay next thing is you can put on your hair your wigs um if you have uh, an oil like this which is the roller bowl you can actually run it through because this gives a generous amount of oil okay so this is la nuit trezor i'm going to be smelling of la nuit trezor you know but you could just do this and you've got your wig that's going to smell of la nuit trezor for 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 even a month you know that's how good oils are uh next and we're about to finish is um you can scent your car carpets you can put again cotton balls scent those cotton balls and put them under your car uh, or those such as that i said you can put under your car you can put droplets in your diffuser there's endless things that you can do with oils you can put you know you can put droplets on the aroma burner where if you're into burning aromas or essential oils you put it you know drops of oils there uh, or fragrance oils and it just takes it just changes if it was just say for instance lavender and you put a drop of baccarat rouge obviously you've got yourself a beautiful combo going on there okay and the next thing is um you can add them to talc you can add your oil to talc unfortunately i don't have talc at the moment or powder you know you just put a couple of droplets shake it about uh it won't get it won't be like a, a, a like a ball it will just mix together you just mix it together as it dries your your powder is then you know scented beautifully with the uh, fragrance oil of your choice next thing you can also layer perfumes with oils that is a no-brainer 
Uh, you can also uh, put uh, fragrance droplets of oils in your steam iron just so that when you're steaming your clothes they've got a permanently beautiful scented uh, you, you know thing uh, going on with them there and last but not least is you can use fragrance oils for aromatherapy so if you're a person who's into meditation and stuff like that you can take your um, you know a little pot where you put some water there you boil it when it boils you lower the temperature you drop some oils there and as you are meditating you know with of course at very low temperature if you can help it or you switch it off all completely when the room is completely filled then you can have your scented oil there while you're meditating so those were the 30 points that i wanted to tell you guys of what you could use uh, you know your perfume oils uh, for as a person who's obs completely obsessed with perfume oils i utilize these uh, you know points all the time and i find that they are helpful this week guys is completely smelling of the nuit trezor and i put that and this is going to be like that for a while so definitely something that i thought i should share with you here c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today please do check out some of the uh, perfume oil videos i've done in the past i will link them in the description box if you need more clues or if you need more uh you know uh, uh the sellers that i buy from i have linked them there in the description box below remember try to get yourself a discount if you are a distributor and you wanted you know them at a reasonable price drop an email you lose nothing uh you know the worst you'd get is no but you know in most cases if you're buying them in five liters a liter most sellers will consider giving you a decent uh you know price see chronicles again is my name like i said thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have subscribed if you haven't why not do turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video it's been a pleasure doing this video uh for you and remember guys that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers